What is up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, being subbed. If you're not, hit the button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit the like. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into this conversation. This goes so deep, and I've been meaning to talk about this for a minute now, but more and more has been revealed in the past several days. And when I say more and more has been revealed, all of it is speculation, okay? So I'm not here to say that any of this stuff is true, it's real or not, but the questions definitely are out there. Wondering definitely does exist. And there has been a lot of talk about Jay-Z over the years. And we know that even Beyonce, she had come out when she did her album Lemonade years ago to say that Jay-Z has been unfaithful. Now, that wasn't a shock to many people. A lot of people were saying that he has been unfaithful to her over the years. And I just want to get into this because I want to start back from... Actually, let's start where I actually wanted to start, but never got around to it. And then we're going to go back to some history with regards to some stories that have been revealed. And then we'll get up to the present time. Now, I have said 2024 has been the year of receipts, revelations, and reaping. And we don't know, but Jay-Z might be included in those receipts, revelation and reaping, but we shall see. I don't watch the award shows, never have, never will. I'm just not into it. But I definitely did see the clip where Jay-Z was on the stage of the Grammys when he was accepting an award that he was being presented. And he was on a stage with his daughter, Blue Ivy, that looks just like her mom. I mean, yeah, she has a little sprinkling of Jay-Z in there, but she definitely looks like her mom. She's just looking more and more like her mom every day, it seems. And good for her. (laughs) I'm just being honest. But anyway, when he was on the stage accepting his award, He said something, and when I saw the clip, my first thought was, why did he say that like that? And even the look on Beyonce's face, it wasn't even just a look of embarrassment or why is he doing this right now, but it was also a look that she had on her face like she was just kind of over some stuff, if you get my drift, and Listen, when you're married and you're in these long-term relationships, none of them are perfect. You're going to have your struggles. You're going to have your issues, your ups and downs. So I'm not even here talking in that capacity because every couple in a marriage goes through that. Everyone does. It's never every day of sunshine, rainbows and perfect and honeymoon, right? It's not. But there was just a look on her face that I caught. And even the words that he said, it was like, why did he say that like that? So when he said what he said about Beyonce and he didn't call her his wife, he didn't even say her name. He said, this young lady right here has never gotten album of the year. And when, you know, when he was speaking and when I wasn't looking at, when I was just listening and not looking, and if you're listening and not looking, and when you hear him say this young lady right here, you wouldn't think that he was talking about Beyonce until he, you know, of course, got into the album of the year stuff. And it's like, oh, he's talking about his wife. Oh, he's talking about Beyonce. But my personal thought was, and I didn't you know, put too much into it, but I was actually going to talk about it just to ask the question, why did he call her this young lady right here? It just didn't make sense to me. And even going back to, not that this has anything to do with Jada and Will Smith, but remember when Jada said that when Will Smith did the slap at the Oscars, she was more shocked about him calling her his wife 
than the slap because he hadn't heard him call her his wife in a long time. And, you know, all of the things started coming out and being revealed about how they had been separated for all of these years and whatever and whatnot. So my mind went back to the Jada and Will Smith slap situation. Although, like I said, us hearing Jay-Z, not Jay-Z, hearing Will Smith call Jada his wife, that wasn't a shock to us. Now, the shock to us was the slap. But for Jada, she said the shock was the fact that he called her his wife because he hadn't heard her be called wife by him in a long time. So when I heard Jay-Z call Beyonce this young lady right here, it didn't make sense to me. It was a little off-putting and a little bit weird. He could have said Beyonce. He could have said her name. But to say this young lady right here, to me, it sounded like there was some stuff going on. And lo and behold, an article came out not long after I had that thought. But again, I never got around to it, but I bookmarked it. So I want to share this story and it's from In Touch. It says, faking it for the cameras, Beyonce and Jay-Z go out of their way to high tension in marriage. Beyonce and Jay-Z, who will celebrate their 16th wedding anniversary in April, have a combined net worth of roughly $33 billion, according to Forbes. Their two joint tours, On the Run and On the Run 2, earn more than $363 million. They're one of those couples who are worth more together than apart. A source exclusively tells In Touch, it's almost as if their marriage has evolved into a business partnership. And they're just friends now who basically lead separate lives. So whatever tension there may be behind closed doors, they seem to go out of their way to not let the public see it. Now, see, again, this is allegedly an exclusive source that shared this information with InTouch magazine. And of course, you know, the doubters and the people who are just stands for them that think that Everything is always heaven in their household. Oh, that's a lie. People are always making up stuff about these people. Oh, they're just haters, whatever. But listen, let's continue. To celebrate the February 20th launch of her new hair care line, Sacred, Beyonce gave a rare interview. She shared memories from her mother's hair salon, detailed her personal self-care routine, and opened up about the shocking moment in 2013 when she decided to just cut all her hair off. It wasn't an aesthetic choice, she told Essence, but it was a very big emotional transformation and metamorphosis that I was going through. Me shedding the expectations just put on me. I just wanted it off. It was very intentional. Apparently, so were her words. When Beyonce also spoke about the liberation she needed in her life that year, Fans were quickly reminded of the devastating claims that emerged during the same period. Headline after headline alleged that husband Jay-Z had cheated on her, something he later confessed was true. Once again, Beyonce is bringing up Jay-Z's infidelity. She doesn't come right out and say it. She alludes to it. It's subtle, almost as if she continues to remind him of what he did. And that she hasn't forgotten about it says the source. His cheating cut deep and she hasn't forgiven him and may never. Listen, I'm a Virgo. So I I get where she's coming from when it comes to that. We and you don't have to be a Virgo to always remember, but most Virgos are you know pretty private. They don't want to share all of their information and I'm not speaking for Beyonce because she is a brand at this point like she's just more than a a person. She's a brand and everything that she and Beyonce do, it's about image and about their business. But most Virgos, they don't share their personal information. And it's not so much that they're trying to be secretive. A lot of times they don't share it just for the sake of not wanting to feel like what they're going through is so important to everybody else and not wanting to seem like they're putting all of what they're going through on everybody else when everybody is going through things. That's how most Virgos think. But Beyonce is kind of different. I mean, actually a lot different. But I'm just speaking from the sense of being a Virgo. I do understand that part when it comes to 
being hurt, you never forget that because I have some family, (laughs) even a sibling that I'm done with. And actually I've forgiven, but I will never have a relationship with that person ever again. And even some other people, because it's like when you've shown who you are, why am I going to put myself in a position to trust you like that again? You've already shown yourself to be a snake. But anyway, to continue, it says the betrayal has haunted her for years. Beyonce was so young when she met Jay-Z. She idolized him. Then he shattered her world after their 2008 wedding as rumors of infidelity emerged. In 2013, the year after Beyonce 42 gave birth to daughter Blue Ivy, 12, Jay-Z 54. It always amazes me how they put the people's ages (laughs) in the story. But anyway, let's continue. Was accused of having an affair with singer Rita Ora, who denied it while rapper and model L.I.V. claimed he wanted to make her his in-town chick. He also partied with models in Belgium as rumors he and B were close to divorce surfaced. Then in 2014, video of B's sister Solange, 37, attacking Jay in an elevator after the Met Gala leaked, sparking reports it was over an alleged affair he had with designer Rachel Roy. Rachel denied it. When Beyonce sang about infidelity and reconciliation on her 2016 Lemonade album, it confirmed the truth. Jay then copped to it in his 444 album lyrics in 2017, the year they welcomed twins Rumi and Sir, and later said they didn't end their marriage thanks to therapy and doing all the work. Now, all these years later, Beyonce keeps bringing it up says the source in her music in the media in 2018 she wrote a piece for vogue revealing she's been through hell and back and has experienced betrayals and heartbreaks and now in this new interview the pain won't ever go away says the source her bringing up the cheating is like sticking it to him it's like he'll never live it down but she would never leave him they've built an empire together and there's too much at stake so listen (laughs) That's got to be a miserable existence, even if you live in a house the size of an airport and you're living on one side and that person is living on the other side. But listen, when you make your life a business, pretty much, then that's what things can come to. And that's pretty much if these things are true. Like I said, these are all allegations. Then that's pretty much what it is. But like I said, prior to this article coming out, I thought about that because when I listened to Jay-Z speak, accepting his award and trying to, in that moment, bring Beyonce into the fold to say, well, look, she never has received album of the year. He called her this young lady right here, this young lady right here. To me, it just was like something is off about that. But anyway, now let's bring it to present day. All right, so the Neighborhood Talk, they shared a story. And it is journalists said to interview Jay-Z's alleged mistress days before she passed away, wants the rapper to be investigated in connection to her passing away. She said he's evil to the core. And her name is Liz Crokin. She said it's only a matter of time before spirit cooking Jay-Z is exposed like Diddy. Wow. Like she started it off with flames. There's a reason Kanye said Jay's got m And you know what I mean by that? I would know. He's evil to the core. I pray there will be justice for Kathy White one day. Now, if you don't know what spirit cooking is, just Google it. Go look it up. And it's been no secret that Jay-Z, people, anybody can say they believe in God. There are many gods, right? I believe there's only one true and living God. But a lot of people believe in other gods. And some people make gods. Some people have made a god out of these celebrities, right? There are some people that Jay-Z could do no wrong. But the man has made it clear that he does not believe in the way a lot of people believe. And hey, that's his right to. I'm I'm not saying that he has to. Even God says choose. So he's not even making anyone believe. Okay. 
But with that being said, look up Spirit Cooking and Jay-Z and you'll see what she's talking about. So the Neighborhood Talk writes, Neighbors, a journalist who was set to interview Jay-Z's alleged mistress, has turned to the public to look into the strange circumstances surrounding her 2011 death. Now we know Beyonce had Blue Ivy in 2012. Okay, Liz Crokin, a journalist who used to work for Star Magazine, was preparing to write a tell-all about Jay-Z's alleged mistress, Kathy White, in August of 2011. Kathy had allegedly been caught creeping with Jay-Z in 2010, and the rumors were spreading like wildfire. According to Liz, Kathy initially told her that she didn't know Jay and had never partied with him, but after Liz confronted Kathy with pictures of her, Jay-Z and Diddy at Tao Nightclub in Las Vegas, Kathy said she would consider going public with her story. That story never happened. Why? Liz says days later, when she tried to reach out to Kathy, she was informed by her colleagues that Kathy passed away. Liz says she strongly feels that Kathy was taken out and did not suffer a brain aneurysm like her autopsy report said. I found it highly suspicious that a seemingly healthy 28-year-old woman would drop dead from an aneurysm, Liz wrote. Liz says sources came forward and told her that Kathy had revealed her plans to go public to Jay-Z about the alleged affair. Liz says days after learning about Kathy's death, Beyonce announced her pregnancy with Blue Ivy at the 2011 VMAs. Liz says it wouldn't have been a PR nightmare. It would have been a PR nightmare for Beyonce and Jay-Z if Kathy did a tell all around the time they had crafted her over-the-top pregnancy announcement. Kathy was good friends with Claudia Jordan. According to Liz, media outlets during that time alleged that Claudia was convinced an A-list rapper had her friend taken out. Liz hopes that Jay-Z will suffer the same fate as Diddy, who is currently facing several lawsuits alleging RAPE, shootings, bang bangs, drugging, and more. It's only a matter of time before spirit cooking Jay-Z is exposed. Like Diddy, Kathy posted to X. And so when I saw this, again, bookmarked it because I'm like, this goes back to what I talked about really recently with regards to Claudia Jordan and... (laughs) Oh my God, the stories about people who are in the industry doing some dark, devious, nefarious, lascivious things. And then those people who know about it that in some way are connected to them and know them in some way, shape or fashion, don't speak about these things for fear of their safety. I just recently talked about that. And then... This story comes out where they actually mention Claudia Jordan. Now, I was going to talk about this separately, but I'm just going to go ahead and talk about this right now because I'm not going to drag this out and make this too long. Well, maybe it was a couple of weeks ago. I think it was maybe about a couple of weeks ago on the app. Tasha K, because, you know, she does her YouTube content and then she does her content on her app. Sometimes some things that she does on the app, she'll eventually release on YouTube, or she may release a clip or two here and there on her Instagram from the content that she just shares on the app. Well, she discussed Jay-Z, Beyonce, and Claudia Jordan. And this was before this story came out about this journalist that wants Jay-Z to be investigated, okay? But I was like, oh my God, these pieces are just falling together. And again, these are all allegations. So I'm not here to say that any of this stuff is true or not, but it's questionable. People have questions. And even though none of this is any of our business, but if this woman was taken out because it was going to be a PR nightmare for this couple, 
That's crazy. But, <laughs> okay, after that story came out, and it was it didn't come out on the neighborhood talk. It came out in the media and the neighborhood talk shared it. Then Tasha K shared the clip from her app about the journalist. And Claudia wasn't too happy about that. But let's just go ahead and play this clip of Tasha K. Okay. I tried to call Claudia to tell her this was coming out. Claudia is coming out. So Liz Crokin, the journalist, decided to reignite rumors about Jay-Z's mistress that happened to be Claudia Jordan's best friend. Now, Claudia personally told me this, that that was her best friend and she was sleeping with Jay-Z. The mistress was allegedly pregnant. I didn't get that far with Claudia, so I don't know, okay? However, Beyonce was allegedly pregnant. This is according to sources and stuff. And the mistress was allegedly pregnant that was connected to Claudia at the same time. The mistress then uh, winds up dead. Blue Ivy's alive. This journalist, you know, is deciding to bring up that she feels that Jay-Z had the bitch killed. We can say, you know, crime of passion or whatever, you know, whenever somebody dies, you know, they look at the lovers and stuff. But, you know, eh, we can say that. But we don't know this to be true. Maybe he prayed for it. He was with that witch. What made me kind of bring this story up is because, you know, bye-bye, it gets a little crazy. They're going to cover Jay-Z head. <laughs> it's, it's a wrap. They're going to cut off all the motherfucking dreads. There's been a lot of fucking mistresses online that seem to be connected to Claudia. Now, when Liz, you know, brought up the story with Jay-Z and then the mistress is Claudia Jordan's best friend. Lately, you know, even uh, Gary Owens' ex-wife said that there was a woman that Gary was cheating with that was Claudia's best friend as well. And then the latest woman, the one who got ran up on by Gail Lewis in Delta, in the Delta Sky Lounge. And she made a series, a little small TikTok series. Reese Tisa got her idea from Gail Hutton saying that Claudia Jordan's other best friend stole her husband. Now, I was at the table with all these women. I tell you, they're beautiful women, but they ain't got no man. And I was like, how y'all beautiful? Y'all ain't got no motherfucking man. They was like, Tasha, can you help us? Can we go to Africa? What can we do? And I was just like, uh, and then it comes out that they don't have men of their own. But I was just like, Claudia, how's all your friends? Mistresses. <laughs> they gonna drag me for this and I don't care. I had to put it out. Listen, I'm friends with nobody. We cool. Me and her cool. Don't get me wrong. But, Claudia, I can't leave my husband around you and your friends. I, I can't. I'm like, how is it that y'all ain't never... <laughs> Claudia had to come out and respond. This audio is quite old. But she, she getting tired of it because, I mean, here recently, it's just like her day keep coming up. And like I said, these are beautiful women. Let's go. And just so you know, I've been around girls before that may have done some shicey stuff, and I speak on it. I don't approve of it. I'm not cool with it. Now, y'all want to make me into this monster? That's on y'all. But I'm a one, I'm a one man woman, <laughs> and um, I don't, I don't condone that. I don't. If you don't condone it, why are all your? Fr it's like you know your girlfriend. You know who they fucking. I know all my friends' business, right? We just know each other's business. They know mine, I know theirs. Like, why is that? I get people. Husband! And these ain't no young women either. These bitches like in their 40s, 50s. <laughs> okay? <laughs> these are some old school bitches. Oh, I know she gonna drag me, but Claudia, I love you. I really do. But I was just like, girl, you see, you got to clean the energy up around you, child. Because this is getting bad. They are reunited. You and your ex bestie and her coming up dead for sleeping with a but with Jay Z and stuff. And then we just had Sabrina Hutton, who was your best friend and shit. Oh Lord Jesus. I had a friend, you know that she wasn't a friend, she was an associate. Let me make that clear. She she had got upset with me because I reached out to a mutual friend of ours whose husband was sick and said, how you doing? Even though I wasn't friends with that particular friend no more, but, you know, our husbands are still friends. And so I was like, hey, you, you know, you got cancer, you good, you know. So they 
side to the, the, the husband thief, the associate. So don't you think it's inappropriate if you don't fuck with her? Why would you DM her husband asking if he okay? And I said, now, bitch, don't make me run down the line of how many husbands you actually take. I cuss all them hoes out, though, that day. Boy, woo, 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 Tasha K came out. Thank y'all so much for watching. All right, so you know how Tasha K does it, and she's going to try to bring some comedy with it and and laugh and, and stuff like that. And I don't, again, know if these things are true, but a lot of people were in the comment section pretty much not just because of what Tasha K was saying, but just based on things that they've seen over the years or stories that they've heard. They felt like a lot of the things were true about Claudia. I don't even want to make this about Claudia because in my personal opinion, I don't really think it really has much to do with Claudia in terms of who her friends were or associates or former friends or whatever, right? Or even her life or her lifestyle. If she says that she's wound up being around people that were doing things that she didn't agree with, that could very well be true. So I'm not here to make Claudia out to be a monster. But what I am saying is that I just recently spoke about this when TGIF was discussing the Russell Simmons and Usher story about Usher going over to Bali to visit Russell Simmons and then Court Mora Lee commented on it and was insinuating some things but didn't come right out and say what she meant. A lot of people were like, well, just say it. What are you talking about? I can't stand what people don't say what they're talking about. And then Kamora, not Kamora, <laughs> Claudia said, well, a lot of times people don't come out and say things because they know stuff, but they also are just trying to make sure that they can stay well, stay safe and stay alive. And I just talked about that not very long ago, right? But it's funny because it's not funny, but it's ironic that this is coming up again, because even more recently on TGIF, the the trio were discussing Suge Knight and some things that he came out and said. And I'm not going to get into all of that right now because for the sake of time, I don't want to make this too lengthy. I may do that separately. But again, Claudia alluded to that again. So yeah, I actually will do that separately. But with that being said, this journalist, she apparently has no fear at this point in time. I guess she said, God has me covered. God is my source. I ain't worrying about these demons and these devils anymore. So she literally came out swinging with, <laughs> with, the, with the torch, calling Jay-Z a spirit cooker and calling names. So... We don't know what's going to come of this, but we will keep our eyes open and watch and see because it's it's looking pretty crazy out here in 2024 and we're just getting started. We're just in the middle of March. It's already going to be a crazy year because of all the things that are going on with the election. Some people are tuned out. A lot of people are tuned in. But whether you're tuned out and tuned in, you're going to see some things and you're going to be affected by some things. So we're going to be here talking about it. So guys, what do you think about all this? What do you think about the journalist coming out to name names? What do you think about her pushing for an investigation of Jay-Z? Do you feel like Jay-Z is up next? What do you feel about Beyonce and Jay-Z's relationship? Do you feel like it's just at this point now a marriage of convenience and things are not all heaven in the household? Share your thoughts with me in the comment section below. Again, I'm just sharing my thoughts, my views, my opinions, I don't know what's what, but I'm just sharing what they're putting out there and giving my thoughts on it. So guys, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until next time, wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye. Maybe